Northport resident Bob Cook wanted to become a professional wrestler at an early age. After seeing some live matches at Venice High School in the late 70s, Cook knew what he wanted to do for a living and set his sights on a career in the ring. SNN's Jason Raven has the story. Ladies and gentlemen, from Northport, Florida... To Retired wrestling pro Bob Cook looks back on the moment when he fell in love with wrestling. I mean, I first started watching wrestling in 1975 because of a kid that I met here in Florida. We're playing basketball, and he's like, hey, I gotta go home, you know, and I'm just like, oh, what do you gotta go home for? It's light out. And, well, I gotta go home and watch wrestling. And I was like 11, 12 years old. I went home and watched it, and I fell in love with it instantly. Growing up in Florida exposed him to the top stars in the industry. Cook watched the matches on TV every Saturday and would attend events at the Robarts Arena in Sarasota. When Cook graduated from Lemon Bay High School, he knew exactly what he wanted to do. I, I went to Tampa with a friend to become a wrestler. That was my intention. I had no idea how to do it. You know, they didn't have Google back then. You couldn't Google it. You couldn't get a, you know, they didn't have wrestling schools in every corner and in the backyard, you know. So I went there with a friend. He was going to become an electrician and I was going to be a wrestler, but no idea how he was going to do it. Cook learned the ropes from Larry Simon, better known by his stage name, the Great Malenko. For nearly 15 years, Cook went up against the top stars in the business. Wrestled Sting probably 50 times, and every time I sat in a dressing room with him, well, he put his makeup on, and I'd tell him what we were going to do, and he would go along with anything I said, and, and if he didn't like something, he'd change it, but, you know, he was very easy to get along with. Most of the guys were. I mean, it was a... Cook wasn't a main event talent. He often appeared on one of the opening bouts on the card, but no matter where or who he wrestled, Cook gave his best. Best time of my life, I wouldn't change a thing if I had a chance to do it over. I mean, a lot more good than bad, ups and downs, yes, but more highs and lows. Reporting in Northport, Jason Raven, SNN, the Suncoast News Network. Ouch, that looked like it hurts. During his career in the ring, Cook used his real name on most occasions, except when he was asked to put on a mask from time to time. In those instances, he competed as masked superstar number two, Piranha Steel, and Mighty Yankee number two. 